We received the results last week in terms of the names of the candidate candidates who performed exceptionally. And um, from the CAPE examinations, we noticed that um, Mr. Dorian Osric Villafranco from St. John's Junior College obtained six grade ones. And um, <clears throat> that makes him the top candidate in the CAPE subjects and also makes him also awards he's the recipient of the Belize Scholarship. Okay? What is the Belize Scholarship? The Belize Scholarship is a scholarship uh, for students to do undergraduate studies, which has a worth of $85,000. Okay, and it's one scholarship that the, that the government of Belize confers on, confers on the students who do exceptionally in the Cape subjects. Uh, Mr. Villafranco obtained grade ones in six units, which is Caribbean studies, communication studies, pure mathematics unit one, mathemat pure mathematics unit two, physics unit one, and physics unit two. Okay. okay? So he is the recipient of the Belize Scholarship. If we look at the um, C6 subjects, we note that Ms. Juana Teresa Mesa from Stan Creek Ecumenical College was the most outstanding candidate. Okay? She obtained 13 grade ones and uh, two grade threes. So with the 13 grade ones, she becomes the outstanding candidate for the CSEC subjects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, also of note is students who will also receive what we call subject groups. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have um, Ms. Juana Teresa also who will be recognized with a subject group award for the sciences. We have Mr. Asher Canto from EP York recognized for the vocational technical subjects. We have Mr. Jackie Cheng from Stan Creek Ecumenical. And then we have uh, Ms. Darinka Munoz of Corozal Community College. Okay? Those four candidates got subject groups awards. Then there's another set of students who also would get individual subject awards. That means students who perform exceptional in the individual subjects, both at the CAP level. In this case, we will have 28 students who got top grades in the KIP subjects mm -hmm. and 33 students in the CSEC subjects. Okay? okay? So when is the award ceremony going all to All right. So all of these students who will be recipients of these top awards will be awarded these um, gifts, um, plaques, scholarships on the 22nd of November uh, at a ceremony which will be um, held at the Bliss Center for Performing Arts. Uh, on the 22nd of November, and of which the guest speaker will be the Minister of Education, Youth and Sports. Mm -hmm. Besides these awards, we also have students who qualify for certificates of excellence at the high school level. And we have 260 students who qualify for certificates of, certificates of excellence. And to qualify for a certificate of excellence, the student had to have six or more subjects with grades one and two including English and mathematics okay. all right also at the CAPE level we have students who will also receive certificates of recognition mm -hmm. four students will receive certificate of recognition and seven will receive certificate of excellence okay mm -hmm. so we have a whole set of students close to 300 students who will be awarded certificates Locks, other gifts from the Ministry of Education and corporate partners and other stakeholders in the education system, all of us will come together on that day to recognize the efforts and achievements of our students who did exceptionally good this year. Okay. Uh, okay. The, are the numbers this year more than last year? Oh, um, if we look at okay. the high so number, if we look at the number of students of um, certificates of excellence. It is about 100 students less. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. And that's because, as we mentioned in August, when the results were, re were released, the math and English, we have a lot of work to do in that area. All right? So it's less. But always our students perform above expectations, and they always raise the bars of excellence. So, yes, we, despite... 
I decrease the numbers, the results are good.